Okay, Grandpa, let me see if I can uh, show this antiquing process to you. This is the uh, phone cover I worked on at your house. I've already sprayed it with a couple coats of spray lac. And now I'm going to antique it now that that's all nice and dry. You see, I got my gloves on to keep my hands from getting uh, too messy. I've got my sheep's wool. I have a small piece because there's not a whole lot of area to cover here. I got that cut and got all the uh, loose things pulled out. And this is the antique I use. It's a five beans antique paste. You can kind of see it's a uh, kind of a pasty uh, texture to it. Not as liquid as the one from Tandy's. And I'll dip it in there. I get a little bit of uh, the antique on my my uh, wool and I rub it in in circular motions you want to get kind of kind of heavy with it you want to get into the deep parts alright now that I got a nice solid cover over the whole thing. I go back to my part that I was holding that wasn't quite used and I brush it lightly. Lightly brush it all off. Keep spinning it. So I got most of the Most of the antique off the top part with it still kind of sitting in the impressions in the lower areas. So from there, I can let that sit a few minutes. I can lightly with my paper towel, lightly and not put a lot of pressure, just a little bit of pressure down. Because you can always take off more, but it's harder to add more back onto it. Just slowly, a little pressure, wipe off the top, leaving some of it down in the impressions. Can wipe a little bit harder in some areas. For instance, my mark, I don't want it to be too far down in there because I want it to be somewhat even. See how it sets in there and gives it a little bit of depth in those impressions. And go back if you want to and press a little bit harder and just do some rotations, circular rotations, and really buff the top area, leaving some of the antique in the lower impressions. And I believe that is that. I'm not going to edge coat this, so I'm going to make sure the edges are all nice and even. So when I glue it onto my phone, it looks nice. One final wiping. Once you wipe it, if you keep rotating your cloth to find cleaner areas, you can use the same paper towel for almost the whole piece. And once you're done, you have a nice antique piece that gives a lot more depth. Gives it a lot more of a finished look. You let that antique dry for a while. 
probably a oh, day or so. And then you should be able to lightly put your tan coat over the top. And you're done.